Well, I'm back, my good people, and we're going to speed this process up. And anything that you don't know or you will you you was uh, uh, unfamiliarized with, I will explain it to you as I go as quick as possible. I'm at work and I want to drop this knowledge on you guys so it can be beneficial and informational to you so you can uh, apply it to your life or someone else's life. Here we go. What causes kidney disease or kidney failure? Well, it's several things that cause kidney failure. Diabetes is the most common causes, cause of ESRD. High blood pressure is the second most cause, uh, a common cause of ESRD. And other problems that can cause kidney failure include autoimmune disease such as lupus and IgA nephropathy. All right? So... It says high blood pressure. Okay, what is high blood pressure? Well, high blood pressure, also called hypertension, is, is dangerous because it makes the heart work harder to pump out the body, I mean to the body. It contributes to hardening of the arteries and arthrocirrhosis to stroke kidney disease, and to develop development of heart failure, right? Okay, so what is uh, atherosclerosis? Well, let's see what atherosclerosis is. Atherosclerosis, a disease of the arteries characterized by deposition of plaques, of fatty material on their inner walls. Plaque of fatty material. Are you listening to me, my good people? Plaque of fatty material. So when you having kidney failure, one of them, one of the problems is atherosclerosis. And that is plaque of fatty material on the inner walls of the arteries. So what is plaque of fatty material. Well, plaque is made of cholesterol. And we all know cholesterol comes in what we eat. Are you listening? So when you change up certain things that are high in iron and natural things like that, then you will not get the breakdown of plaque and cholesterol and fatty substances inside of the artery cellular walls. Okay, plaque is made of cholesterol, fatty substances, cellular waste products, calcium, fibrin, a clotting material in the blood. Atherosclerosis is a type of arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis is a general term for the thickening and and hardening of arteries. So what causes this thickening and hardening of arteries? It's the fatty substances that you eating. It is the breakdown of cholesterol and plaque inside of the uh, cellular walls, inside of the blood after, the, after they get broke down and digested, you guys. Okay? So that will cause the kidney to have a malfunction. If you over saturate the kidney with these things for a long period of time, erosion will set place in that area. And then you will have an uh, inflammated space in that area. <clears throat> so when it get inflammated from the plaque and fatty substances far, uh, due to cholesterol, it will have a kidney malfunction. Do you hear me? You will have a kidney disease or inflammated uh, gland of sort or, or, or something, tissues up in there that's keeping the blood from being cleansed by the kidney. Are you listening? Okay, it said that another reason was a stroke. All right, so what causes a stroke? A stroke occurs when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted or reduced 
from inflammation of the arteries. What provides the blood? The arteries, the blood vessels. So you don't want your blood vessels in your arteries inflammated because of a uh, 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 fatty uh, uh, substances in, in cholesterol because you will have a stroke. You hear me? All right, and that we we gonna get it. We gonna get, let's get into it. Okay, this deprives your brain of oxygen and nutrients. Come on, y'all! Oxygen and nutrients. We know what carries oxygen, oxygen and nutrients. Food, alkaline foods, foods that don't break down into those types of substances. Substances, cholesterol and acid and plaque you hear me so you like it like an oxygen and nutrients you're gonna catch us going to the brain you're gonna catch a stroke which can cause the brain cells to die a stroke may be caused by a blocked artery you hear me or a leaking or bursting of blood vessels you hear me all right so okay uh, uh, diabetes, kidney diseases. In the United States, the two leading causes of kidney failure, also called end-stage kidney disease or ESRD, are diabetes, also called diabetes, I mean type 2 in adult onset diabetes. The high blood pressure and high blood pressure. When two diabetes, I mean two diseases are controlled by treatment, the associated kidney disease can often be prevented or slowed down. Okay, well if you preventing it, that means you ain't got it. But if you're slowing down, that means it is just slowing down. You ain't getting rid of it. So if you keep putting that 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 plaque and that fatty uh, 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 substances up in your body, then how could it get well? It'll never get well. All right. So what causes diabetes? Well, people with diabetes have high blood glucose. You hear me? Also called high blood sugar or hyperglycinema, sim, cinema, simia. You hear me? Hyperglycemia. I thought somebody was honking a horn at me, but we back, baby. What's this? That's sugar. Glucose. Sugar. You got high sugar in your blood from food that you eat. And that will cause kidney failure, which will put you on dialysis. You hear me? So you need to change up what you eat. Low glucose. AKA high blood sugar to get off of di I mean dialysis to get rid of that diabetes or to help the the uh, body fight it off better. All right? Okay. Insulin. Okay, what is insulin? If the if if if, if the pancreas is not producing insulin, from, from uh, diabetes, let's find out what it is. Okay, insulin is released from the beta cells in your pancreas in response to rising glucose in your bloodstream. So when it rises, the pancreas releases what? Insulin. Okay? Okay. After you eat a meal, any carbohydrates you've eaten are broken down into glucose and pass into the bloodstream. The pancreas detects this rise in blood, blood glucose and starts to secrete insulin. So listen, it says it right here. People, come on, wake up, baby. Your boy is, hey, your boy is dropping them jewels. It says after you eat a meal. Come on, y'all. Is you listening to your brother? Please listen to me. After you eat, you got you ain't producing the insulin to fight off that high blood sugar level because of after you eat a meal, any carbohydrates you eaten are broken down into glucose. 
and pass it to the bloodstream. I told you where the digestion process starts and where, where the blood vessels in the small intestines absorb these nutrients. You see? And feed it to the body by way of the blood. You see? So if you ain't break, if you, if look, listen to me, here go to Jew. All right, you listening? You say, you say, brother, brother, uh, um, Coop, then how am I going to uh, get rid of this glucose levels, this sugar level? Well, after you eat, whatever you eat, if it break down into sugar, then you're going to have that problem. If it don't break down into sugar, you ain't going to have that problem, which will keep you from being off dialysis, which will keep the kidney to repairing. Are you hearing me? Because the body regenerates itself. You hear me? So when you are reducing these uh, meals that are high in sugar, then the body will begin to regenerate itself back to its normal form because uh, you're not feeding it the acid because once you feed the glucose, glucose break down into sugar, sugar break down into acid. You hear me? So you ain't going to be changing your pH. We back to the pH, baby. All right? Okay, it says secrete. It, when it starts to secrete, Insulin. What do secrete mean? Well, secrete, when you secrete, it means a, of a cell gland or organ produced or discharged. Insulin is secreted in response to rising levels of glucose in the blood. All right. Do you hear me, my people? All right, so when you're trying to uh, wonder why your kidney is not cleansing the blood properly, you hear me? And you got these kidney diseases which got you on dialysis, which got you with, with uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, got you on dialysis from, from uh, 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 high blood pressure, which got you on dialysis from from diabetes, huh? You got to change up, it's all what you eat. When it says it right here, what you think cholesterol is? Where you get that from? Where do you get fatty substances from? What you eat, you hear me? So where do you, okay, that's for blood pressure, right? But where do you get uh 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 f for the uh diabetes? Where did where did that come from? After you eat a meal. So once you change what you eat, and you start eating green leafy vegetables that's high in iron that carries oxygen to the to the body to hydrate those areas and feed it nutrients and and, and minerals. Then you will begin to change the ball game. Do you hear me? Huh? Neuropathy means kidney disease or damage. Diabetic neuropathy is damage to your kidney caused by diabetes. In severe causes, it can lead to kidney failure, but not everyone with diabetes has, has kidney damage. Because why? You got that medicine that's trying to slow it down. It ain't getting rid of it. It's just slowing it down. It tells you right here what it do. What it, what it, what it, where, where, where we at where it says. The associated kidney disease can often be prevented or slowed down. Are you listening? So you ain't getting rid of it. You just slowing it down. So if you on uh, uh, dialysis from high blood pressure, huh? Or diabetes, huh? Or autoimmune disease, which are other diseases like HIV and AIDS and, and all these other autoimmune diseases, such as, uh, lupus and neuropathy. I just told you what neuropathy is. That's just diabetes. You hear me? Means kidney disease or damage. Diabetic neuropathy is a damage up to your kidneys. 
caused by diabetes. So, diabetes is a form of kidney failure. I mean, it's caused by kidney, I mean, it can cause kidney failure. I'm sorry. High blood pressures can cause kidney failure. Autoimmune diseases can cause kidney failure. Lupus and back to diabetes, because that's all neuropathy is. Diabetes. So, this is just information for y'all. If you know anybody that's on dialysis, if you know anybody that's on dialysis and has kidney failure, well, this is why. Listen to your boy. You hear me? I'm not just doing this. I'm just sharing this information because I know. I was being, I was able to be taught this. And it's a blessing that I can share this information with you guys so you can begin to apply this information that is, is, is given to us by way of this great America we live in to apply it to your life. So if you know anybody that's got kidney failure, if you know anybody that got uh, 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 diabetes, if you know anybody that got high blood pressure, autoimmune disease, and lupus, and neuropathy, uh, 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 diabetic neuropathy, they got all these things because, they, I mean, they, they, all these things would develop kidney failure and will put you on dialysis. So you want to come off that dialysis by changing what you eat so you won't have large amounts of plaque. Is made of cholesterol, fatty substances, cellular waste products, calcium and fibrin, a clotting material in the blood. You hear me? You gotta you gotta change what you eat, you won't get that. You hear me? You hear me? You gotta change what you eat. And then your pancreas will produce the insulin. You hear me? After you eat that meal, you see that? You see this right here? Look at that. After you eat a meal, this is what they telling you. So change up. You got to change up that meat. You got to change up that them starches. You got to change up that 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 um that uh 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 dairy. You can't be uh, 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 taking all that stuff. It's what you eat. Debo, I see you, baby. It's what you eat. Miss Williams, thanks for watching. It's what you eat. My brother Miller, rock. All I ever wanted, you hear me? Was a beamer and a Bentley. <laughs> My brother Rock Miller. Thank you for watching, Miss Harris. Hey, Cuzzo, Miss Coopwood. Come on now. You don't want no kidney failure? Let's switch it up, cousin. You hear me? I do own it, though. Cuz own it. She own it. She called me like cuz. Hey, hey, I'm changing my diet. That's what you got to do. If you want to know what to eat, get at your boy. Hit me up. I can tell you what the, the, the good things that, that don't break down into all this, this glucose. This sugar, all this, all these plaque and fatty substances, get at your boy. But that's the reason why you have those kidney failures, which will put you on dialysis. You hear me? If y'all didn't see all this, man, I recommend that you go back to the very beginning so you can look at it and really get an understanding that it, all it is is what you eat. You know, contact me. You need somebody to guide you through this? Contact me. I can could, I could just guide you by information. That's, that's helpful enough. That is, that is way more helpful enough. You hear me? Kidney failure. Most cause of kidney failure, diabetes, high blood pressure, 
autoimmune diseases, lupus, and diabetic neuropathy. Love y'all. Bless y'all. God bless America, these Americas, these United States. And you know, there's different types of Americas up inside of America. You hear me? It's, a, it's all type of Americas and Americans. <laughs> but I love it because this is where we from. And we got to help each other. God bless y'all. If y'all didn't see this, go back to the beginning. I am not a doctor. This is just informational base. Any information that I see, I can give to you uh, 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 by way of Google, by way of um, uh, 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 informational basis, by showing you through Facebook or in person, I'll do that. Because my people like that. They don't like to just hear stuff. They like to see the evidence. Y'all like, uh, what was that brother name? That brother name in the Bible. They said, uh, man, I ain't religious, but I'm a very spiritual brother. I think his name was Thomas. Thomas had to see that Jesus was alive. He had to see. He said, man, let me stick my finger through your wounds so I can see is this for real. Y'all want to see and make sure it's for real. So I, that's why I give y'all this information so you can see. If I just told you this, you wouldn't even believe me. You'd be like, ah, oh, man, if that's the case, why the hell we ain't got the cure to these things? Well, the cure is you. You are the cure. You hear me? God bless y'all. This informational basis. Go back to the beginning. Look at it, man. Share this if you would like to. If it was helpful for you. And get at your boy. Much love. Mr. Singleton, I see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Wilson. It's cracking, baby. Bless y'all. Peace.